Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. My name is Brandon, and I am the guy who hosts this podcast that is on the internet. Joining me today is some people who I am sure have already figured out by now that I am making a reference to this week's video game that we have all played. Will. I have now been authorized to record a podcast. Ills. I am the deleter. And Noah. I'm the baby. So yeah, uh, Sakamoto wrote that intro for me. Uh, Do you guys <laughs> like it? Thank you. We got personally <laughs> straight from the man himself. Top ten intros. He, you know, he he told me exactly how to act. That was so. Uh, you know, just listening to Sakamoto. <laughs> very. You know what? <laughs> He's in the put... booth right now, giving you a thumbs up. Thank you. I, I wouldn't put that that intro in hell. It's <laughs> 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 So this week we played Metroid Other M, which I'm sure you know because you clicked on this podcast and the uh, the intro might have gave it away, but maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what we played. We played fucking Metroid Other M. What an infamous game. Uh, mm-hmm. Noah, you picked this game for us to play mm-hmm. this week. Um, so this game, already on the list, by the way, uh, if you listen to us, we have a ongoing list where we rank video games. We add games to it every single week. Which, if you're interested in that, there's a pastebin uh, link in the description below that you can follow along with. Uh, so we're not going to add this game to the list this week, but we're going to re-rank it because we all have played it now. Um, I think we've all, going into this episode, we had all played it, uh, except for Ills, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So Ills, this was Ills' first time. one of the reasons time. why I picked it in the first place, yeah. Just for me. Just for <laughs> you. And then I, you know... I finished it for the first time in uh, in my replaying, um, so I got that out of the way. <laughs> got that part of my life done with. Check that off the list. Yeah. Not the actual list, but the other the one. bucket list. The uh, bucket list. <laughs> I don't know if it was on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, that would be a though. tragic bucket list, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so Noah, since you picked this game, uh, why don't you tell everybody who's listening um, why you picked this game? Oh, multiple reasons. One's being uh, Ill's dad played it and he wanted to play it, so I picked it. Uh, two, um, uh, I wanted uh, wanted to go back to it after a while because of all the negative buzz that it keeps getting constantly. Like I was beginning to like to actually question my memories of it, mm-hmm. so I wanted to like go back and play it and see refresh myself actually. If I thought what I thought was right, and to the, mo- to the most part was, and yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> okay, all right. And we basically never actually ranked it ourselves. It was a default, so I figured might as well actually rank it. It it was a default game, so it's been on there since the beginning of time, and uh, it's famously on there uh, as the the person when you walk into hell is the first person to greet you when you walk in. Yeah. Uh, we because we, we have we have a space on the list that we consider hell. Anything below hell is in hell, and that's the first game. So when you go to hell, that's the first game you got to play is Metroid Other M. Video games are people too. <laughs> Adam Malkovich is just on the boat, ferrying you across the river Styx, just taking you straight to the underworld. God, sink the fucking boat. <laughs> he, he won't let you use the oars on the boat until he gives you permission. Either. God damn it. Uh, so. Metroid Other M uh, was developed by Team Ninja. Yeah. Which is interesting. Um, and, and published by Nintendo, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, released on the Wii. So I think, was this two Wii games in a row? Yeah. Three mm-hmm. Wii games in a row? I don't know. Yep. A couple Wii games in a row. We're playing with lots of games on the Wii. Mm-hmm. Um, will we keep it up? Who knows? You can watch or uh, listen to the whole goddamn episode to find out. <laughs> oh, uh, will, don't skip to the end, by the way. Up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, but it was released in North America first in 2010, actually. Uh, only a couple days before it was released everywhere else. Um, in the summertime, when uh, everybody was just clamoring for a new Metroid game. And, and people were everybody was Everybody was waiting for one for a long time after that, because this game almost killed the series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's going now. We're getting Metroid Prime 4. We got a remake of Metroid uh, Metroid 2 mm-hmm. on the 3DS. So it's 
it's it's well and alive now. Yeah. <laughs> after all this time. After, after, uh, after Federation Force saved it. Federation Force saved everything. <laughs> it, it saved the whole series. <laughs> so what we all asked for, which is also on the list. Not in hell, by the way. Um, so Metroid Other M. Very interesting game. If you've never played a Metroid game, uh, let me tell you, this isn't the one to start with. Don't start here. Don't... <laughs> This is not the Metroid game just, to start with. Just shut off this podcast if you, if you <laughs> never play a Metroid game. Uh, but it is part of the Metroid series, and it does take place... Uh, uh, it's a right canon after Super game. Metroid. It takes place near yep. the end of the series, right before Metroid Fusion. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's an action-adventure game. But I wouldn't call it a Metroidvania game. No. I would not. I, no, it's very linear. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So it's the only That's the thing. They game went, that really is not they, Metroidvania. Yeah, they went, they focused more instead of like the exploration Metroidvania style that most Metroid games have. They went for a more linear story driven one uh, to give uh, Samus some more backstory, which she kind of lacked. So. <laughs> yeah, but I'd rather have nothing than this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Those who don't know, Sakamoto uh, is uh, the the director of Metroid and uh, the original Metroid, Super Metroid, uh, Metroid Two. Basically, he did all of them, but the Prime series. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. So he, mm-hmm. you know, he works. People had, you know, they had high standards for this guy. Um, but I don't know if it was. This is this is what confused me with him. Uh, he can't write... If he wrote this story, he cannot write a story to save his fucking life. He um, really cannot. <laughs> the the I thing mean, is, I wonder if the older Metroid games... Would he have told the story given... Maybe it was the lack of limitations with the hardware. So he went for the isolation thing. Because that's uh, what most Metroid games focus on. Was like, Samus is alone. Uh, there's really... she silent protagonist. Does not talk. Uh, has really no contact with anybody else. Yeah. Uh, just these aliens. And with this game, it just... None of that. There's no. there's other people. I think he um, just tried to go in a different direction. Because well, he could have done that in Super Metroid. Like, they had, like, an opening, like, little blurb. Yeah. Where, where they give you, like, yeah. the and, story so far. And I think it's weird because... I mean, like, Metroid... You know, they admit it was inspired by Alien and Aliens. The, the whole the film franchise, right? And Samus right. was sort of based off uh, Ellen Ripley and everything, and they took that very literally on on this thing, where like you know you're trapped on a space station. There's a whole crew with you who's like all sort of macho. She's sort of like you know the the odd one out of the group, and then like they all sort of get picked yeah. off one by one, almost like a horror movie, right? But yeah, exactly like a horror movie, yeah. yeah, because they they give you that behind the back third person uh, view sometimes, and they make you walk slow. Through yeah, the like to give you like more like make it I guess Suspenseful. a little more immersive yeah. and like suspenseful, yeah. yeah. And the parts where you like have to like hunt like for like basically like crime scenes, like it's the hunt the pixel, like zoom in on this thing, and then you'll see why this guy died or whatever. That was really not good. Yeah, that was no, that was, <laughs> no, yeah. it wasn't. That was some of the worst gameplay in the whole game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and we'll get to the gameplay. Well, luckily, um, there weren't that many of them. So. Yeah, there was only like three or four. There was like, yeah, it was pretty minor. Mm. Yeah, there was there was not a lot of those throughout the game, but uh, there was one in particular that caught me up, and I was like, "What the fuck am I supposed to be looking at?" Was um, it the one in the in the field? No, it was one that was like in. There was like a nest of insects, and there was like little larvae on the ground mm-hmm. that you had to look at. And I thought I was trying to look at like the actual nest, and I was like, "Come on, like, what am I supposed to be looking at?" There's this big purple thing. This is obvious, right? And it took me like fucking five minutes to figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, um, so you play as Samus. If you've never played a Metroid game, Samus Aran. She's a bounty hunter. Um, and yeah, this game really just, it tries to go into her past. She's, at this point in the series, has saved the galaxy. <laughs> okay. Several times over. Like three yeah. times. Yeah, <laughs> multiple no, times. No, more. Because the Prime games come in between the yeah. Metroid yes. 1 and 2. Yes. So more than three times. <laughs> yes, more than three times. It, it goes Metroid, Metroid Prime, uh, Metroid Prime Hunters is in between 1 and 2, and you get 2, two 3, Federation Force, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, and then other M. Oh so she saved the galaxy m- multiple times. Single-handedly. Mm-hmm. Single-handedly, no help. 
um, by herself. She's a badass. Everybody loves her. And then she gets into the situation where there's a guy who's like, you can't use your weapons. And, and you can't so, do anything. You just gotta listen to me. Just don't so Janice use... finds her dad, and her dad's like, you're not gonna do anything today. Go to not really room, her Samus. dad. So, Basically she, her dad. Yeah. 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 In a, yeah in a way, she, so she responds to a distress call. The baby's uh, cry. <laughs> A baby's cry, as she explains it, and she it will explain things way too much and in way in not leave anything to the the player's imagination. Uh, and she she responds to this distress signal on the space station. She goes there, finds uh, a crew, uh, the Galactic Federation that she actually used to be a part of, is there and already had responded to it, I guess. Um, and the story goes from there, and because she's. Uh, usually in Metroid games, at the beginning of the game, she loses all her powers. She usually starts out with all of them, and then something yeah. will happen, and she'll lose all of her. Yeah, that happens like all of her five powers, times, so you're not yeah. all powerful from. Or the beginning sometimes of the she game. just won't have them. Yeah, because well, yeah, or that she too. right. Yeah. So this game, she starts out with everything that she had at the end of Super Metroid because it takes place right after. Um, but she gets told by Adam. That she can't use them, it could be dangerous. Which, that's it fine. makes sense. It does yeah, make like, sense. It's that's a part of it. There are certain there are it certain is. times with the where the authorization is pretty dumb, like the grapple beam in the Varia suit, or like yes. going into the volcano and you're just like it's too hot. It's like no, you can't use your Varia suit. But yes. the so whole authorization things. thing, yeah, the whole authorization thing makes. I kind of prefer it over. I lost all my weapons no for the way, fifth dude. time at the beginning <laughs> no. of the start. Yeah, no, yeah, I, Listen, I, no, I, I also kind of prefer it. It's but, the way yeah. they implemented it that's yeah. terrible. I, I, yeah. I, I well, think it makes again. You have to take it from a different perspective because the Samus as explains throughout very clearly that this guy Adam Malkovich is like a father figure to her, and she's constantly was always trying to like seek approval for him. So in a psychological sense. It, it makes logical sense that she would restrict herself to that level well, for only this person, but, you know but, what I mean? Well, it makes logical sense because, I mean, yeah. if you're in, like, if you're um, uh, allowing yourself to be commanded by another commander and they tell you, you know, you, you know, not every soldier but she's is going to use a rocket well, launcher work under, in, like, in a I'm, situation where you're going to have to, well, this is his operation. So, of course, yeah. she's going to see a little bit of control. She's... Outside yeah. of the, but I know, do the think that there's a difference between seeding control and, and literally saying, "Okay, I'm going to die in lava because the guy doesn't well, say." Well, obviously, okay. I don't well, agree that, with that one. Yeah, that one's yeah. Like I said, but also, I that think it makes the... for just a worse. Ga I think that does affect the gameplay experience of like knowing in my brain the whole time I could go anywhere. I just can't because of this story thing of just like, no, ma'am, you can't do this. Is like, oh yeah, it. it I like. Uh, it's fun to discover an item and then apply the item. Right, that's just it's just a fundamental thing, I think. Right, like yeah. I get why yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Throw these things are on the bottle ship. Why would they? The Chozo aren't there. I'm I get not that. gonna disagree with but. you. This that's completely correct. I'm just saying, like from a logical perspective, like there's it's a decent reason why she wouldn't use yeah. the item. <laughs> yeah, sure. Exactly, like I yeah. said, I don't have a problem with the reasoning. I have a problem with the implement. Uh, implementation. The implementation, yeah. They should have came out for a different reason for the various suit and the gravel beam. Those were the only ones where I was just like, eh, yeah, I, well, yeah. There's the no, really no reason I shouldn't. There's use no these. reason why she shouldn't have the various suit. It's not yeah. going to fucking hurt or affect yeah. anybody. She should have it on the whole entire game. Yeah. And what's his name? No has like the freeze reason. gun yeah. before she gets the freeze yeah. beam unlocked, and you're like, what? Well, yeah. Why is this guy get to use it? Well, it's like right before she is like, okay, well, that, you that and the gravity, me. the gravity yeah. suit stuff yeah. too. It's like yeah. he, she should but, have it on at all times. There's no yeah. fucking reason for her not to be using yeah. it. Anything, because it's not anything that helps her movement, like the space jump, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the grab booster. Beam. Why isn't yeah. she using? It? And that and it does no touch on a, on a little bit of a thing because this is, in terms of Metroid games, the one that has the least number of new weapons or or, or upgrades essentially, right? Like, yeah, so much of it is just getting back to the point of all the stuff you've had in previous games, right? And every Metroid game has an element mm -hmm. of that, right? But, like, Super Metroid added a whole bunch, which is why, and then Metroid Prime repurposes them to a 3D space. They never really, it never really feels like they repurpose the the classic Metroid items into the engine they've built here, which is more action-based and more sort of combat-focused, right? And less exploration-based. And so, yeah. a lot of times it felt like, well, I'm getting these things, but I'm not, like, 
particularly engaged on using them. It's the most basic implementation of these things that I've already used in several other games, which is which had moments where you know, like I, I like the which, the diffusion beam, which is one of the new ones. Like I liked that one, and there's a few other. Yeah, yeah. But like, mm. I, you know, we sort of when you get the ice beam, you're like, yep, this is the ice beam exactly as I remember it, and there was not really a lot I mean, of moments kind, where I was like, kind of like I mean, that's in all the pretty much through any game, yeah. but it's in after the first time. Yeah. It's never really changed in Metroid. So, I want to touch upon, we talked about, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things to touch upon here, um, yeah. because we mentioned that the game has, uh, it's very linear, mm -hmm. and to me, uh, that's that's one of my biggest problems with playing it, especially with it being a Metroid game. And I get okay, well they tried something different, this and that. Mm -hmm. Don't take it as a Metroid game, but it's it is a Metroid game. Um, and just and some of the things that happen when you're playing the game, um, it makes it even more like it just makes it incredibly linear. They lock doors behind you um, to make you just keep going because they don't want you to go back. Yeah. You know, they just for mm -hmm. absolutely no reason. No reason. At least in other Metroid games, there's some points uh, where they do, you know, force you storyline-wise to go forward. But they always give a reason why you cannot go back. Something well, collapsed. Yeah, you that's know? what they always so, do with linear games. They, that's fine. They they give reasons, but this game just will lock a door because somebody in playtesting probably went back and they said, "Oh no no, uh oh, we don't want that. We don't want you to keep going." Like they will just completely. There'll be literally, there's literally invisible walls sometimes too, and I'm like, "Are you kidding me with yeah. this?" Like, are you talking about the actual like projectors that are in the field? No, not even that. No, there's there was times where there was just invisible walls that I couldn't even go past, and I was like, "Why?" And the thing it's is, just that, then that means because a, a, a hallmark. See, it's once again it's this thing where like these elements of Metroid that they that they walk in because they put in because it is a Metroid game, like don't work with the engine they were making because like part of you know backtracking isn't always the thing. You don't you don't always have to have backtracking in a Metroid game, right? You can make a game where it's not. But upgrades are an important part. Missile packs, health kits, all those other yeah. things. But you can miss mm -hmm. a lot of them in this game because you can't go backwards. And so it means that you'll be in these situations where like you know they'll give you, you know you sort you sort of want to feel like you are getting more and more powerful and that's part of the equation, right? It's not just these upgrades, but like well, the health the stuff. Well, that's the thing. Like, missile. the missile expansions only give you one per thing. And Which is another problem. you can always refresh yeah, your you ammo. Your like, you have literally have infinite ammo with expansion pack, like with missiles. Yeah, uh, I think that's, that's is, another and thing. And any other like, ammo, really. It's another issue in its own. Yeah. And same thing, same thing with the health. So in this game, you can refill your health if you're low enough. If you get to a certain percentage on your own health, that you you just hold like you hold the A button and waggle the Wii remote up. Oh, you just hold it up, yeah. You don't waggle, you, you hold, hold it up. Yeah. Okay, you hold it up and it will refill your health for you up to a certain point. It doesn't refill it all the way. Um, I have, I don't like that. I don't. I didn't like it at all. Um, I think it's, I like. I it. think it's decent. I mean, it's just not yeah. good in combat situations. Well, here's here's yeah. my here's and they are issue. items that actually yeah. they are items that accelerate the timer, like make it less time having to concentrate. There, there, so, yes, to there is. Quicker. But I have issues with it in terms of a gameplay standpoint. Um, one, it's very difficult to use in the middle of a fight. Well, yeah, I, sure. yeah. So, right. So, two, when when you're playing a, a Metro game, most of the time. You get this. You get, there. You get to points where you're almost dead, and you have to. Or you're not anywhere near a save point, so you you want to you know get health back. You engage in combat with enemies to get that health back. Yeah. So you you just you know you fight enemies. You sometimes they drop health, sometimes they don't. But that's the risk reward that you take yeah. with fighting the enemies. In this game, I was running past enemies. Mm -hmm. That I didn't have to fight. If there wasn't, if I wasn't locked in a room with them, I was running past them because there yeah. was no reward. The only thing you could get from it was you could maybe get hurt. There's absolutely there's no, no reward for it. it. So yeah. there's no point in fighting. Them. Yeah, it's, I will it's only run right a potential past drain on resources, right? Exactly. There's absolutely no point in fighting enemies, it, which it, it bothered me from a gameplay standpoint because. You know, I feel like if I'm playing a game, I should want to engage in combat, you know, and to fight the enemies. Yeah. 
Uh, but this completely uh, just got running because yeah. of the health thing. Yeah, and, you know? and once you mentioned that, I went and went out because I hadn't finished it when you mentioned that to me. And I did it, and I was like, I ran through the game way faster by not engaging on the combat, which is unfortunate because that's the best part of this game, right? Like, but because yeah. there's yeah, but no upside to engaging with it, if you want to just play optimally, don't do the one thing that I think yeah, because is the game does all well. All you're gonna at. do is get hurt. But I mean. I mean, if, if it's fun, if the combat's fun, that's the incentive for engaging the yeah. combat. But, I mean, no, tactically, but... tactically, you're, you're uh, correct. I mean, uh, once I got but, the space but... jump, I jumped past a lot of people that I didn't want to fight. Yeah. But that doesn't mean, like, I mean, you you should still fight them if you want to fight them. <laughs> yeah. But even like, when I was, I was like, running no in rooms and just you, blasting right? like, everything as I'm it's running It's just through. bad game design. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, like, if you don't like it, that's fine. I don't care. Yeah. Well, no, but like, literally, I like the, I wouldn't call it level. bad. It's just it that you don't bad. like it. You just, no, I mean, it's just, it is actually some bad people, game design. This is not like a personal taste thing. This is like a, this is like a, because I, because, because I was doing the combat and I was like, okay, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was playing it. But then there's a certain point where, like, you know, uh, I mean, I don't want to invoke the thing that's it's near on the list, right? But like, it's fun to do an action command in a Paper Mario Sicker Star, but it doesn't mean you're not leveling up, you're not getting anything out of this besides draining your resources, so why do I engage on this? But that's literally like every other Metroid game, you know that, right? No, because there you are moments when I'm alive where I'm a Metroid game, you waste the muscle and you're hurt. You, and I, I mean, kill an enemy. If I don't get hit by the enemy, there's the potential to get health back and put myself in a better yeah, and better you can position. always you can always run away. Yeah. You can always run. You can past always them. run away, sure, but the enemies impose a threat sometimes where you 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 want to fight them so you can get the health. There is a potential benefit. Plus, get hit getting by missiles and other stuff, right? Like like there's there's yeah. there's an, there, there's enough of a system of just drops. Drops are an important part, right? And then cutting it out does have ramifications that like you know ring out further than I than I thought they would until it was gone. You know, and I think that but was the thing can... that was interesting to me was like oh like no like but you need to have. A potential but instead of the drops, there's the concentration that refills your missiles and health. That takes away any point of fighting any enemies, though, unless you're forced to. But that's the same. But <laughs> in other methods, it's not games. at all. It's not. Yes, like, it I, like, is. Like, I, like, I, like you know, like I, I mean, you can run past enemies anytime you, you want. You can run past enemies, but unless, like, yeah. there's there's no situation in other end where you should fight an enemy if you want to beat the game. Oh. There is yeah. a situation. I want to blast no. the fuck out That's of them. No, but that doesn't mean you want to beat the game. Like, like you're on... Yeah, uh, you're playing a game you're in a room. to get to the end. It's, 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 it's sensibly, right? I like, want to pull off the cool kill moves that he does when he jumps yeah, on their head and blasts them in the face. Yeah, you can do that when you're forced to fight an enemy, but you don't... There's no point. Logically, it makes no sense to do at all. Like, and that's... And, it's, me, and that, that is just a flaw. Like, it's just, it's just a thing that, doesn't, that does not feed into the game they built, right? Because the fighting is... Yeah. Is like I, you know, I mean, it's all like the best team ninja combat, right? It's, it's, you know, it's sort of like how platinum with near automata, right? Like it's like you can see them there, but it's not their best version of themselves. But there's still good stuff in it. But yeah. like, there's no. Uh, uh, I, I what you're saying is ju it's just that there's no reward for the fighting. But I mean, the reward is, it, is it, enjoying the fighting. It wasn't like so yeah. satisfying as to make me want to do it constantly, right? Like, there, yeah, it's well, not that good. It I mean, also, on the map, once you clear all the enemies, it reveals if there are any hidden items in it, too. Okay, that's 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 genuinely fair. That is a potential upside, but also, at some point, we have to... Like, but, I mean, like, if you enjoy things, fighting right? the enemies, then fighting the enemies is good. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't, you can it's run past It's not them. that good that I'm going to do it every time I right, go, so go then through a room enjoy, and they so then you can move past The them. game is fundamentally flawed in that area. I don't think I don't so. Think it's, I wouldn't I, call it a flaw, though. It's a, it is 100% a it's flaw. It's not. Because it's bad either, game design. Why is it bad game design? Because you literally have a choice to fight or not. It is bad not. game design. It doesn't give you any incentive to do it. Uh, you're, you're making the Legend of you Zelda Breath of the Wild argument I made. No, I don't. I don't want to do this. <laughs> but no. Uh, but like, but like, I mean, but like, what imagine mean, I mean, no. it's, it's the JRPG battle system where there's no leveling up, right? Like, that's that's the thing, you know. Like, it's not. It's, it's, it's like you can engage on this thing, and just because yeah, you but, think the fundamentals but you know of it Zelda are fine, has, but that doesn't mean that it's Zelda good. has drops. Enemies drop can drop health. The yeah, enemies can drop resources. This yeah, game that, doesn't what have What I was that saying is that there's no incentive. No, but there is no like at least there's like a sword. clear pot and no, at least the enemies drop a weapon in Breath of the Wild, right? Like I don't want to I don't want to have to be talking about hits. this, but like there is I mean there's like there's you know I, there is the, the no it's it's fair that there is. The well, the best you, you can get is like a net negative, right? Basically. But then it also feeds like, into the net problem neutral. of the upgrades themselves are like sort of minimal, which is a whole another problem. But like you know so. Uh, 
it, there is there's just clear moments where like the fundamentals are good are fine with like moving around right like you know i had more problems i think with the d-pad on my first playthrough than this one right i still don't think it's super elegant but like i think the dodge is great i think that the, the little kill animations are fun you know they they, yeah, they, really they wear good. themselves the out when you see them the a game. lot but it's fine that happens with any game um but there's the game runs great it, it game runs fucking fantastic sure. right it and runs it looks at 60 frames per too. second never dips uh the animations are fluid they're good yeah it, it runs really really well and, and the, it looks really really good too for a wii yeah. game um like, and so like it's like there's all those clear upsides but the game they made surrounding those base elements i think has a lot of flaws to it that aren't just with you know the story which uh, which has been talked to death but it's, you know oh my god we can't just go, oh my god, when, like, we're giving reasons. Like, we, we've played it. We're not just, like... Your reasoning doesn't make sense, though. You're calling it a flaw. It, it one It's yeah, not I, a flaw. I, like, I, I can't... I cannot be alone on this on, on, on the internet. Oh, you're, no, no, you're not I, alone. I, Will's right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, 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 it's just... It's bad design. It, they they should have just... I don't know. I didn't like it. I really didn't at all. And I it, no. It is bad the design. voice acting was I mean, bad. Fine. The it's writing like was it, bad. Right? The fucking gameplay was not bad. I'm I'm not saying the whole gameplay is bad. I'm giving an example of the gameplay that is bad. Yeah. There are bad things in this game, and I want to keep going too because I'm not even done. <laughs> <laughs> so, the controls are good, right? Sure. Uh, like you just alluded to, moving around with the D-pad, it's, it works fine. Yeah. So, like, I think earlier on, uh, when we had discussion about this game with the controls being, like, um, like the worst thing in the universe, that's, that was way overblown. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, it worked. Yeah, there was, like, I wasn't like, man, this control's like a dream, but it doesn't have to. Right? It, it works. Right. Well, here's the thing. Uh, so, well, you made it sound like it was unplayable. Well, Will. yeah, and you I replayed it and I changed my opinion. That. Like, sorry, like yeah. I'm giving you the <laughs> thing here. I'm not saying that it's going to be a 10 out of 10, but yeah, it's better than I remembered it being. Right. But then there was other so things. With the control, were... Sakamoto said he wanted it to feel like you're using an NES controller. He wanted the game to feel like it should have been, it could have been on the NES but like in today's day and age, which I think so is wanted probably that. dumb. <laughs> it, it it it's dumb. Yeah. Considering the fact that you could have, it was a dumb idea. Considering you could have just been like, okay, well, let's plug in a. Yeah, because I mean, right? I think I think there was reports that Team Ninja wanted to have a nunchuck, right? But and yeah. so like, you know, and, if, and the nunchuck would have fixed my biggest issue with this game, and it wasn't even moving around the D pad. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, my biggest issue with this game was switching between first per first person and third person. Yeah. Which be which was very cumbersome trying to do it especially in uh, like high octane situations mm -hmm. like if you were using um a nunchuck in the wii remote the wii remote is already pointing at the screen so you could have been able to like switch with like a press of like the c button or b or something sure. and just instantly been like boom there you go your hands are already in that motion it would have been seamless and felt really good yeah. um but um, to do it that's, the other yeah. way it was a little cumbersome that's that's one solution another solution was just to let you use missiles in third person view? I that mean, too. what yeah. the fuck is the point of making you do first person view to use missiles? It's not like in any other game <laughs> you need to stand still to use a fucking missile. What I the fuck? I think it's that once they yeah. once they settled Made on this it more idea, immersive, but yeah. And once they settled on the idea, they they sort of had to hunt for reasons to put you in first person. It felt like at times. Well, I mean, they could have utilized like a scanning system, like in the Prime game. Yeah, to give you a reason. It's the weirdest to, like, thing. Look that there is at the environment. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like the world feels empty because of it. Yeah, and especially because the there's thing like... they took out the exploration element, so that kind of went with but, the package. But this is know? a game that well... like we that that like th you're on this weird ship. There's a lot of things, right? Like there's supposed to be intrigue and like who is the deleter? What is MB? All these other things, right? And like it would be cool if you got little hints if you took time to scan the environment, right? Like that would have been a cool little way to utilize it. That and 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 it was already in the series and it gets dropped here. And I think that that is weird. I that's a good point. Yeah, and it would add like a little bit more weight to those like suspenseful moments if you could actually like see like read the environment. What the fuck is happening? Mm -hmm. You know, you could actually get more of a feel of like the horror that yeah. they wanted to inject into and, this game for some reason. Yeah, and instead of having the hunt the pixels moment, it's just a thing that you could potentially see if you're willing to stop and explore your environment. Right? Like that's yeah. Really cool. They could yeah. have filled the world with those. Oh, man. It would have been good. Yeah. 
Well, better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about good. Better. And uh, I had yeah. problems with the with the dodge in first person, where they're like, we have to like you know flick to off screen. So, basically, yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing until I accidentally did. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing at all. There's there's yeah, I don't think they tell no. You. There's but sometimes we're like I think it's coming at you. Like the sides of the screen will go green, and if you flick off to that side of the screen, Samus will dodge in first person, and that's so you can dodge attacks. Yeah. But that's it works cool. half mm. the time. Because a lot of times it would just think, oh, he's just not pointing at the screen at all. And so it would just reset me. And that was, that was, there was moments where I got hit where I was like, man, I know I should have yeah. dodged there. I didn't like that once you pointed, you had to hold B to be able to move around, too. Yeah. Like, that yeah. kind of, like, kind of messed me up. Like, because I was just, I would assume I would just point it and then just be able to move around. But you had to hold B to be able to look around yeah. at the same time. So I think, I think it's weird because they mentioned how they were thinking about this game because metroid's never been big in japan it's always been bigger in the west and so i think that they made this game with the west in mind was what they talked about right which meant they thought the west would want more story like we got they thought that because prime did better than uh, than the 2d metroids sit around that time frame that they should throw in the first person perspective basically like it it feels like it was a thing where they were making a lot of concessions to what they thought people would want and they also thought that like people like more linear games in the west which is why they they were more willing to block stuff off and so it's this thing where you know i mean i think a lot of uh, Japanese companies in this like time frame were sort of like, how do we make games that appeal to America? And like Nintendo really didn't have that moment except for this one. It feels like looking back on it, because once you read about that stuff, you're like, oh, these decisions make more sense. It doesn't mean that like they're great, but you can see where their logic was. It's just it's a it's an outsider's perspective looking in on what we like as a game space, uh, you know, like as our culture. And I've, it it was interesting to read about basically. And they were wrong. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was, I mean, a lot of those <laughs> things were wrong, right? Like, you know, we're going to make Resident Evil be this other weird thing, and then, you know, it, it takes a couple of years for it to come back around to, to be something that people recognize as the yeah, series. Yeah, Resident Evil became like a, a B-movie. Yeah. Uh, which, which is, which is yeah. Uh, those, it, th those are less of, a, I think, of, of a tonal mismatch as some other ones, right? Like... Here's Bomberman Act Zero, where Bomberman says the F word and is in a post pop ups. But yeah, so like other M, I think, sort of was in that same space, but it did, it was not an unmitigated disaster in that. Not as, no, not even close to like how bad like Bomberman yeah. Zero or whatever the fuck that game yeah. was. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we mentioned the, the combat. I mean, the combat is is really good. Like, you, you dodge by tapping the control pad when the enemy's attacks are incoming. Um, and it just the most satisfying thing would be um, you get these, like, flashy instant kill or, you know, extremely damaging attacks that you can do if you, you know, go at them at the right moment yeah. when they're, like, stunned. Which, well, those, are, those, are, those are fun to pull off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are cool. And then there was, there was, like, the kill moves, and then there was, like, a crit move where you, you just hit them for really hard. Yeah. Like, you, you, have, you have to yeah. charge up your cannon to get it. But, yeah. 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 And, and those moves are, like, really well animated. You could tell Team Ninja. That's where you can look at it and be like, Team Ninja right here, right? Oh, Team Ninja was um, all over the, yeah, the action of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because the dodging was, like, so satisfying. Like, every animation of Samus, like, kind of scrambling, turning on her knees. Like, yeah. getting that angle to shoot is, is really good. Yeah. And really I really good. like the yeah. uh, the charging boost that the dodge, like, a perfect dodge gives you. Yeah, yeah. it gives you a full so charge. Beam. Like, it gives you an cool. instant yeah. charge. That's, that stuff yeah. is, it, it is very cool. And, it and is, I, I it, like the boss battles, too. Yeah. Yeah. Boss battles are really cool, too, yeah. There were some the that, part, yeah. that, that I had more or less problems with, but yeah, overall they were. I mean, I enjoyed them. I, they had a good like pomp and circumstance to them, yeah. especially. And there's a lot of mini bosses that you encounter along the way too that are fun to, to yeah. fight. Yeah, there's a lot of bosses in this game. There's that hermit crab <laughs> yeah. that you have to fight like three times or whatever. It, that weird. I yeah, I, was, I kept calling him hamburger helper looking ass <laughs> motherfucker. I, he <laughs> just looked like a big glove to me. The, the fucking the, um, the Ridley fight was really good. Like it, really fun yeah. was good. It was yeah, like, and the, I like epic. also liked the uh, the dragon thing in the lava that you fought. Would you like uh, yeah it with the grappling yeah. beam? He I was like cool. And um, the guy with the gravity shifting thing, you know what I mean? He made gravity heavier. So, oh yeah, that weird robot. Yeah. Thing. Well, no, that's I mean that was Look. when I was like, man, this is just straight up the thing from Alien. This is the thing that she pilots to fight the Alien Queen. Like this is just that. It's pretty wild. Right. But uh, it made me yeah. laugh. The, the, uh, my only I, my only problem with Ridley, 
Well, I, I have a couple of problems, but I do think it's, I was talking, talking to Brandon about this beforehand. I think it's very weird that Ridley, because this is, to their credit, Samus and Ridley, before this, never exchanged words. Ridley is, he is, <laughs> yeah. he is like her nemesis, but they have, like, you know that they killed her parents, but that's about it, right? So this time they sort of give a moment where like, you know, people have, I have issues with like how she like falls apart in that scene because she's fought Ridley four times already, but whatever. Yeah, no, I'm saying well, that scene I, is garbage. But I, I actually disagree on that. But like, but even looking past that, I think it is weird that Ridley gets away and then dies off screen. Like, like you that see the Queen Metroid bad. kill him and you find his that body, but bad, I was like, yeah. man, the one game where, like, they have an established thing and she, like, has a reason to try to overcome this trauma by beating him, like, and, and like, ending this is the one time that he just sort of gets knocked off off screen, and I thought that was kind of a bummer. Yeah, that, that was anticlimactic. Well, here's the thing, that. like... The game loves doing this. Like, yeah. the whole Adam plot, the ending of the Adam plot, that's completely, like, an anticlimactic moment. That's yeah, your yeah. fight, and he's going off to fucking destroy it, sacrifice himself for no fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he was yeah, going to Sam eliminate... Sam could have probably killed all those Metroids, let's yeah. be real. Yeah, uh, and, like, MB yeah. wasn't even over there, and there were still Metroids still on the ship, so... What? Huh? Yeah. Well, no, the <laughs> Metroids were in the sector that Adam was going to. He wanted to self-destruct and blow that whole place up. That was the no, whole point. No, the Queen Metroid was still... Where you no, are. the Queen Metroid was not in there, but he didn't know that. He thought it was with exactly, the, old, the other which, Metroids. Which yeah. Is, yeah. It just so, makes his sacrifice fucking meaningless. No, because, because he still the, went the, to the, kill the, the Metroids. The world ending threat is the it's one that he didn't, he didn't kill, basically. No, he still went to kill the Metroids, but he was thinking he was going to kill Mother MB as well. It's I, just know, that MB I know he there. thought I know that. He, he thought that, but he didn't. But plot-wise, his... like, giving it like, to the player, that shit is fucking mm. pointless now. Especially because yeah. in a lot of ways, it's almost like, like, it is his story as much as any is, like, Well, you know. again, like, this, this whole game is not based around the player for once. Like, in all the Metroid games, uh, Samus is just, like, a shell. Like, you are the player, you're Samus, you're doing everything you want, it revolves around you. But this time it was re revolved all around Samus Aaron herself, not the player. You know what I mean? Uh, well, yeah, what I'd it made, say, like, a bad I, version of Samus Aaron herself. Yeah. The thing was, like, well, it made you almost not like Samus because you'd want her to do stuff, and well, she'd be like, no. Yeah. I don't it, know, because, I mean, like, it, like, it like gave a... me a lot more appreciation for Samus's character, because oh, no. I actually no, see... I feel way worse about it. <laughs> I feel uh, way... Well, that's no, the thing, like, me, you already had built up canon. these expectations no. from previous games, but... And nothing is ever going to beat your best fantasies or expectations no, of the sure, character no, once you no, made that's, that's, it. Let me finish, oh, let me finish. Oh, false. <laughs> Go Let ahead, me go finish. Ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Because, like, again, there was nothing ever portrayed for Samus's backstory or character. So, getting to see her, like, going through all this trauma with the baby Metroid and the thing, have her getting, like, emotions and actually feel like she's human and trying to overcome, like, trying to get her. But there are no the human acts figure. like she acts. Is Let the me problem. finish! <laughs> God damn it. Let me finish. So, trying to. Now I lost my fucking train of thought. So trying to get approval from her father figure and all that, and actually getting sh paralyzed by the Ridley fight, even though you fought her in the fought him in the past four times, him coming back even after fighting him when he's at his strongest, and when you're at his strongest, he still managed to come back. Makes sense why you would be scared when he's right in front of you again for the fifth time, because every time you hit him harder, he comes back well, again. So it's like it's a terrifying situation to be in. So overcoming that again gives her more personality and more, like, I respect her more for, like, going through all this shit and getting through it, you know if what I mean? every line of dialogue, though, makes me think that you aren't a human being, you're some weird amalgamation of a bunch of stuff, then it, then it, then it rings hollow, though, right? Like, like, it's there was the plenty of ideas, right? I like the idea of the ramifications of the baby Metroid, right? But then they have they they have the subtlety of a large sledgehammer, right? Like it's just it's it's the clumsiest dialogue of all time. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh well, yeah, that's like, what I mean. The dialogue yeah. itself and the writing is bad, and the voice well, that's her. Oh that's god, her well, that's being, how but, it leads into us not caring yeah, about her. But the and, and plot like, itself, oh, awful. when you look at the plot itself, what they were trying to achieve and no. the story they're trying to create for her is actually. No, no, I'm not saying the, the plot is If this is was at the start of her bad, thing, then sure. But, but it, this is like literally next to the last thing that she goes on. Like, it's not inherently bad. It's just, like, the way they did it was so fucking horrible. Like, no, everything was, she yeah. says was, like, <laughs> oh, my God, why are you telling me this? Like, the mo like yeah. the moment after Adam dies, she's, like, she's already eulogizing him, like, three seconds later. Like, 
oh, she, he was my best friend. He was like, you didn't show me any of that in the middle of the game. Why the fuck do I care? <laughs> yeah, and he was checking her cold asking the whole that's what I'm fucking saying, yeah. time. No, like so, that's I said the, the writing is bad, the voice acting is bad, but, but the actual but no, plot but even itself, the plotting, they didn't make me okay. care. Like they, sh like they show, they show her as a kid or her younger, right when she's like training. And like I was like, I was, when it first first happened, I was like, you know, cool, we'll get to see Samus from where she was then versus where she is now. But then she comes back to where she is now, and it's not like she's become this like she is. She is at this point an accomplished, incredible, you know, like you know, I'm not. I when I was 12 when this game came out, I did not have thoughts about Samus as a character, right? I played. Metroid Prime, I knew that she was in Smash, but I wasn't walking in with like, this is who she is. But I went and I thought, okay, we're gonna get a thing of her beginning and her sort of like, where she's come to now. But it gets back to her and she is, you don't feel that growth. You don't feel any of those things. Like she's still being subservient. Yeah, she, it's, it doesn't she's work. St st she's still a child basically. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck is going so then, on? So then they I don't get why the backstory her there character the by doing that. There's nothing I mean, different being shown. Like, I understand the, the, the want for her to be, you know, more normalized, more personalized, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. she was just like, she was made so weak and like, I don't understand, like petulant for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, again, that's why I'm mean. so the writing was bad. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, that makes the plot bad. But the way that they implemented the plot was bad. I mean, on paper, the plot is fine. Well, but, but uh, the, for the, the, most the whole MB thing is a little weird. For, uh, yeah, <laughs> that part okay. is. I mean, that part is. That is I like the part where the Federation was actually trying to produce mass versus Metroids to use as bio, bio fucking weapons against the galaxy, but. You, but, but, no, but, yeah. but that the is idea lady, is yeah. fine. It's about the implementation. I mean, you can yeah, have the, the best implementation idea. was bad. Yeah, you can I, have I the best idea that. in the world, and it mean nothing because you you fucked it up. Yeah, and like that's the two things that this game brings that are new, right? Like it brings it brings the action gameplay, which is which it succeeds at, right? There there are detriments, mm -hmm. and it's not perfect, but it largely is good. And then it brings the story, which I think we can say is a full on mess, right? Like. It's not, it's not like people, you can say people were throwing, were getting too overreactive, but I don't think that there's like a lot of mm. reasons here to look and say, hey, this is actually secretly everyone misunderstood it. Like, no, it is what it is. And it's not very good. Like, yeah. And, and I was just trying to make a point that I actually relate and like Samus more because of this whole thing. <laughs> I hate to tell you, you might be really alone on that, buddy. It, well, yeah, because I mean, we've we have the whole. I'd rather Metroid. support a character that went through a lot of emotional distress than fucking an empty shell that I come up I with. I mean, anything. it depends on how they portray that emotional distress. It has to make sense. Like, like if we start at zero and we end up, and in then the it makes psychological on my emotions sense. on Tamis. I think that doesn't. That means it wasn't a success. I I don't think it makes any sense because she is a hardened veteran. I don't understand. Yeah. She's well, saved the world the like four times. Like, and, and it does. I mean, sorry, but like, I love. Uh, you know, uh, we ha we have the whole Super Metroid argument, right? But the baby moment at the end of Super Metroid is super good. I love that moment. That is that is yes. up there. And like retroactively, the whole the baby bit and all this other stuff. I mean, it doesn't make that moment weaker, but like. This is the follow up on this moment that is so great that I love so much. And that was part of the disappointment, right? Is that like there is an interesting place to go with post Super Metroid Samus. And it yeah. and and it and it takes a 90 degree turn and it becomes instead about this you know, just a, a million things at once and I, I, her relationship with Adam, her yeah. fucking relationship with Anthony, whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> Who's the deleter? I, mean, I like that. I think it was cool. Yeah, to be fair, he's Nuzzle. the coolest yeah. character. I like it. He's like my favorite character. In that game. <laughs> he's the best character you meet in the game. And even then, and that's I mean, such it's a low like, bar. It is a very, it is a very low bar. It's, it's not the lowest active bar you can have. I'm like, I'm like, you know, Anthony. When he when he when he shows up at the end, I'm like, good. I'm happy you made it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wanted him to be the bad guy. I just wanted him to be like turn out to just be an asshole or something. That's what I wanted, but he didn't. Yeah. You should be, man. A very special moment was yeah, anyway. when Adam was when uh, what's his name was going for Smash. Was trying to get him. The thing was, I wanted Adam to be bad because I wanted Samus to hate him as much as I did, and then I would have finally related to Samus. Nice. <laughs> yeah, or him just not to be this like I don't know. Because the because because the thing is because we should mention that Adam had backstory. He he was given characterization before this, right? 
the, he, he was the onboard computer was supposed him. to have his personality on right. what you call it was it zero mission or was it fusion fusion fusion, fusion. Um, yeah. And so, like, also, I liked Adam in that game, too. So when I heard, oh, we're going to get to see the actual Adam in this game, I was hyped for that, too. Like, you know, I, th- you know, I mean, to Noah's credit, like, th- the ideas for the plot are not disastrous. It is just that I feel like none of the potential interesting things were fulfilled and all the things that I didn't want to be focused on were focused on. So you're saying you had expectations no, that they didn't meet. No, I mean, it's because there was intriguing plot conceits. Right? Like, you walk into a movie and you say, hey, these things are the reason I show up and I'm interested. And right. there's always expectations in yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, had you're expectations walking into this that game. this was a good game and it wasn't. Oh, yeah, it's probably. Metroid, too. So you have expectations that it's going to be a Metroid game as yeah. well. And it's fine for it not to be, but it needs to have something in its place that, that, like, can re- that, that feels like you're not missing out. And even though I don't think the gameplay aspects that they added in the action gameplay were a disaster, I did feel like I was missing a lot of the elements that I came to enjoy from this series, right? Yeah, I mean, so that's a fair thing to say, that you were expecting more out of the series. Fair I, enough. I, would, I would agree, but I, I still accept the game as it is. For sure, the yeah. Like the, the, the gameplay and the linearity, yeah. it wasn't that much of a problem for me. So, I mean, I liked it. It was enjoyable. Parts. Yeah, it was. And, um... I I just wish that someone would make a fan edit of this game to remove every fucking piece of dialogue and mm-hmm. every like just fucking just keep the cutscenes that are cool like the Ridley one sort of like cut that one up a little bit and and the one in the beginning <laughs> and the one in the beginning was pretty cool I like that they reimagined the the Super Metroid fight sure as a cutscene yeah but uh, yeah. I mean a lot of that shit could just be thrown out the water you know yeah. just keep, get the fuck keep out. baby Ridley in there too keep baby Ridley uh, for the kid little birdie <laughs> little birdie <laughs> it's such a weird thing is baby like a, I mean is Ridley like a species is I, I yeah cause that was know. my thought was thought this isn't was the same weird. Ridley then right like it's this new weird Ridley yeah so I don't know it's fucking weird it's, I don't know either man it's yeah I don't know cause yeah cause I guess the thought was like she like little little birdie's not that bad, and then he grows up to be bad because it's nature versus nurture or whatever. But like it doesn't. Uh, that's that's grasping at straws of why there's the baby Ridley. Everything's a baby yeah, in that, this game. Everything is a baby. There's, the there's bottle ship. Metaphors up the ass. <laughs> the bottle ship. Babies oh, cry. Babies cry. <laughs> babies cry. The bottle ship. The the fucking game is actually spells out mom. There's mother. There's other we, mother. Not can we <laughs> can we talk about how bad the fucking Madeline Bergman MB shit is for a second? It was so bad, dude. <laughs> I mean, oh man. Why? It makes it's very confusing. <laughs> oh man. I like that I they hint at who the deleter is. Like this is it's a non small portion of the game, which is who is the deleter? Who is this 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 you know, Benedict Arnold? And then like there's hints at it, but it never gets fully resolved, and the one place that they definitively says it was James. Is in the concept art that you have to unlock, and you're like, "Great, this what? Is, this is they how do? It was, it was no, like, they actually show is like dead body who was uh, shot by what's a uh, my MB." Yeah, but they never say it. No, they show it. It's, it's they only show a dead body. I, I'm pretty sure they never say he was the the. the uh, well, you know what I mean. Yeah, the implication <laughs> is there, but like once again, it's this thing that's like if you're going to invest so much of this, you know, a, a not small plot point. Mm. To just have it be, well, there's his dead body. I feel like that was more again. Yeah, anticlimactic. The ending was wicked. Anticlimactic. Yeah, it was. Like the last boss fight, the way you kill uh, the Queen Metroid was super cool. But then they just like keep the fucking game doesn't end. It just keeps going. Also, that and then you get this weird like was kind of garbage. Yeah, I didn't like that either. It was a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, I um, like the extra. Like, if you beat the hundred percent, like you get the scene where she goes and gets Adam's helm, and you have to escape the self-destructing ship. I like that. Yeah, right. I saw that on yeah, YouTube. I watched that. It, it was cool. it was pretty cool. Phantom was really uh, cool. makes an appearance from uh, Super Metroid. Yeah, it looks mm-hmm. really good. <laughs> but, that that looks like a fun fight. Yeah, yeah but it's cool also fight. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, is Brandon? Right. You made this observation, and I think it's probably not an unfair one. That like when you beat the game and you get the more free roam aspect of it. It feels like a Metroid game. Yeah. Also. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> and like, clearly it was there. It was there. You could have done it. Yeah. I mean, like I'm you, not going to disagree. They give you free roam, and it just feels like a Metroid game, because I dicked around for like 30 minutes, and I was like, hey, 
feel like I'm playing a Metroid game now. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's not that we're just saying, well, it should be a Metroid because it should be a Metroid. But it's like, it's because it is fun. It is fun to have those elements. Like, it's just, it's fun to wander around an environment and, and, and discover things. And Yeah, it's like one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of things, you know? It just, just seems improve like, upon the formula. It seems like with a little bit of tweaking, they could have made this game, like, passable. Like, actually pretty yeah. good overall i i agree yeah i agree i i definitely agree because like the foundation's there yeah i mean because I, I think the level design is fine right like like uh, metroid zone for level design and other m's is because it, it it's it's whatever right it's it's totally fine but like if they if, if you had this this action gameplay right you you do a top couple of tweaks right you you know make make it make a game where you, you can still explore but like when you're engaging in combat it is it is as engaging as it is in this game you have a heck of a metro. You have a heck of a game. Not even a metro game, just a game, right? But like, it, you can see it, and that's almost what's more frustrating. Is you're like, you were, I don't want to say you were ninety percent of the way there, but you have a really good core at this of this, and the rest of it is the problem, right? And mm-hmm. it's 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 the thing that can be. Well, I I know we hyper focused on the story, but realistically, like the telling of the story is like maybe an hour of the game, so I, like I don't want to judge yeah. the game. Yeah, so it's hard to judge the whole game based on a really bad, you know, hour of the game. But I think the fact that it sticks with people does indicate that it is a big. No, part of I mean, it, it sticks I, with people because it's again, bad. it's bad, and also it kind of doesn't. They don't agree with it, and it, it ruins the image of Sam supposedly, and they just don't like it, and they, that's they main focus all the hatred on that, but. Yeah, like I, you guys I, I, saying, it's like the whole gameplay aspect is like fucking good. Yeah, I, uh, there's. I mean, and I point out. I mean, there is a couple things. It's not a no. perfect game. That's well, it's not sure, perfect. But no, there's but. there's things in the game that I don't like. Like yeah. you know, enemies not dropping resources, and the, some of the linearity makes absolutely no sense to me. And it's cumbersome to switch between the visor yeah. perspectives, uh, third person and <laughs> yeah. fourth person. But in general, but. it's a good ten hour game where you have fun shooting stuff. Playing through it is fun. Just don't listen to the story. <laughs> yeah, just fucking skip it. Oh yeah. god, skip the story. But so, I don't think you can just disregard it, though, right? Like that's. I mean, you also can't no. because you can't skip the cutscenes. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. We should. Yeah, but you shouldn't I'm, I'm just drag saying... it through the fucking mud just because of the story. Well, I mean, it deserves to be dragged through the mud a little bit, but not completely. Yeah, it's is, a fair is, criticism, is what I would say. It's a fair criticism, but don't fucking. Fucking. <laughs> I mean, I, I think no, I wouldn't. Is I wouldn't like, tank the entire game on the story, even though I hate exactly. the story completely. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I guess my thought on it is that like, it's not just that people want to come in to hate this game because I don't think they did. I think people people want to like Metroid, right? But I think that it's like a lot of the parts that are good are good, but like they're not so remarkable as to outweigh this thing that 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 sticks with people's brains, right? Where they say, "What was that? What was what was this weird thing? What was that weird thing?" Right? So you know, I kind of feel like. Because Other M came around when we were having a little bit of a draw from Metroid as well. So everybody was starving for, like, the next big Metroid game. Well, it wasn't that well, long. Well, it came like, after right? it was like, uh, Corruption, right? Which was 2008 yeah, it was like, to two years. Yeah, so, yeah. and Corruption oh, so was really Oh, no, good. it was after that. Uh, it, it caused the damn drought. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't yeah. say it caused it, but... I, 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 I mean, I do think that they that they were going for like what was going to be a, a new because they I mean to their I mean to their credit I guess they were willing to go to stick their neck out for this new thing right because yeah, I mean they did it like they had the Metrovania style 2D with uh, the Metroid Metro Fusion Zero Mission all that yeah. and then uh, Super Metroid and then they went to three 3D with first person view with the Prime games which wasn't so one, Nintendo two, and three. proper that was retro right so like yeah. this was sort of so like, they were yeah. taking another experimental step yes but it didn't work probably. right like that was I the mean, problem gameplay like, wise it did no, because they wait wait gameplay wise it, it did because they implemented a lot of those mechanics into fucking the Metroid Two remake with the counter function and like the moving around through that's also space. in a two D space versus a three D space and, and like the idea of well, a counter is not unique to other M right like I mean they, I think that you can say that there was plenty there was ideas you can take but overall the fact fact that the series took a very long time for them to try to figure out what the identity of Metroid was again because that was sort of what they said was like they were sort of hunting for like what is Metroid in the 2010s and that's why it took so long of a break like indicates that they didn't view this as a huge rousing success they viewed it as like a an experiment that probably didn't work as well as they would have hoped 
Mm. And no, also, the I mean, Wii U was the having trouble, that so didn't they work didn't want to make a new. <laughs> the experiment it. that didn't work was that the story was trash, not that the mm. gameplay was bad. No, the gameplay was fucking solid. No, I mean, yeah. Mm. So I will say, I never want to play a Metroid game that plays no. like that ever again. Though. This, if, yeah, if they had kept this going for. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't hate it, or I don't, I don't take, make it a negative that they tried something new. That's great. You know, it's always great to try to you know do new things with a franchise, but. I don't ever want to play a Metroid game like that ever again. Why? For as long as I live. Why? Because yeah. by the because end, even it was wearing out as well. I want to play Metroidvania again. Right? Like I was like I was like you know this is good, but like I don't want to like go through another one. I don't want more of it. This is a fun. You don't want thing, sto- you know. Wait, so your main just, thing is you don't want a story based. No, I mean like I don't want a Federation well, Force type game either. I don't want a, like a weird. I don't want a co op. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want another other M. I don't want another Prime Hunters. Right? They're these weird little experiments that they that they try with different gameplay elements. That's fine. But at the end of the day, I say, well, that was it. That was the one and done. You know, I would not compare this game to Prime Hunters. The I had more fun with Prime Hunters, Hunters to be like, uh, yeah. like I don't know. The well, that's Hunters the thing with Prime Hunters; a- it was still a hurts. first person, but they controlled like shit. Yeah, it was like little it's- shit. But, uh, but like what I'm what I'm saying is like now that's like, where the gameplay where you always mention Brandon gameplay is the biggest thing. If I'm not having fun with the gameplay, then I shouldn't be playing this at all. That's what Metroid Prime Hunters was. I agree. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're wrong. That's but not what I'm saying is that like, do you, I don't want a Prime Hunters 2. I don't want another M2, right? Like, yeah, I don't want another, I don't want another M2, like M2, but I wouldn't mind the game in this style. You yeah. Know what I mean? In a so third I, person. I don't want that because I want I a Metroid game that has... That forces exploration. Well, what if it has exploration no, I mean, with the controls and yeah. whip and like mechanics or, of other M? Or like a third, that's fine. A third yeah, that's what I mean. it's largely not this <laughs> I'm game. I'm mainly talking about like the mechanics. It's not the same yeah. game. Oh, like if we're making, you know, like I said, like you we can were make talking it. about, we were talking about the way the game is presented, like yeah. third person versus first person versus two D. But also super linear. It's also presented. I wasn't as a talking about that. Part. We weren't really talking about the linear part. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's that you can't you can just discard you know, really these parts it. of the games when you're saying what to take. Like it's 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 the whole thing, right? Like. The fact that it is linear no, is part of the you're game. You're trying to lump me together, all these things together, to make me to force me have to take this as a complete package. I'm saying I, w- I would only like that style. Sure. The the third person style. That's that's all I'm saying. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And that's fair. And what I was saying was I don't want another fucking Metro game that's linear and blocks off paths and only makes me take one path through yeah. the whole game. That's cool. I, I mean, I don't like that either. <laughs> I don't want that. That's what I mean. I don't want another Metro game that's like that. I wouldn't mind another Metroid game that plays in in the combat like that, okay. which we kind of got with Metroid yeah. Two. Yeah, then we then we agree. There we go. Hmm. In a way, in a way. <laughs> I don't understand how we don't. No, I was just thinking about like. Well, we don't. No, it's fine. I was. Well, I'm thinking. I'm yeah, thinking I guess about the, we, do. The we do. Metroid Two remake. It's good. Sorry. It's good. It's good because it takes you know the good parts of this game. Yeah. I feel like. And in it, in it, it's it's like it takes the good parts of this yeah. game and, and so it did melts its them part. with the, the classic uh, Metroid. I would like, say that. You know, there's a couple. Yeah, um, and this is uh, another Sakamoto game. So surprisingly, he still has juice in that tank. He's got. He's got. It. He just. He was drunk the whole time he worked on this game. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna. Yeah. Say. I that's mean, the, the guy has that's a my head a track record. People will be like, "This guy's a fraud. He has no way he's doing." It's like, no. Like this guy no, has made no, a ton no. of incredible games. He was just. You know, it's un- he should have written. He should have hired a writer. <laughs> hired a writer. <laughs> yeah, he also should have plugged a nunchuck in. Yeah. He, that those two things. Yeah. Man, if we were there, we could have stopped. Oh, if I had, if I could go back in time, that's the one thing Damn. I'm gonna stop. Sorry, baby Hitler, you're getting by today. <laughs> we're gonna you know, <laughs> oh, no. survive this time. Next time, we're coming for you, but not this time. Uh, so guys, we gotta get into this. We've been we've been talking mm-hmm. for a while. Now we just gotta we gotta give recommendations. Uh, whether or not we would recommend this game to somebody, uh, we're gonna of course start with Noah because he is the one who recommended it in the first place. Uh, if you like Metroid games, obviously don't. If you not if you don't really care about Metroid or just want a simple fun game to play, then sure, why not? All right, uh, Will. Um, nah, I don't. I I think that the that there's a lot of games in this world, right? And I think that the stuff that Other M has this detriment. It's like if you, you know, if you truly think if you like other Team Ninja games, there's stuff here to still to like. 
Um, but I would play all those other games probably first, right? Even Ninja Gaiden 3, I think. And like, and so for me, I think it's a thing that's like, I'm not saying don't play it, but I'm saying it, it doesn't have to be high on your list, right? Like, I'm not going to be out there saying free. go play it. If it's interesting to you, <laughs> you can pick it up, but. All right. Ills? Uh, um, probably not. <laughs> Just, I mean, don't do it. It's fine. <laughs> you, you can skip it. We played it, so you don't have to. Yeah. Um, I would say I I have a hard time recommending it. I would if if you're just so curious that you cannot stay away, do it. But it's not going to be the worst thing you've ever done in your life. I tell you that. But everybody else, I'm not going to go out of my way to recommend this game to anybody. I just so it's the shittiest Metroid game ever. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully that hopefully that does not change. So you Metroid play Prime. Retro Prime Hunters over this? Uh, I I think I would put Prime Hunters up below it. Uh, I guess mainline. Cause I don't know if if you count do you count Hunters as mainline? Yeah, I mean it is. Uh, isn't it? Uh, uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think guys. Federation <laughs> Force. Actually, no, they actually said Federation Force was canon. So <laughs> I don't count this game yeah, as, as mainline. No, but this game is mainline. This game is not right? canon like, to me. No, this game. This game. All right, fine. How about this? How about this? Don't play. Don't play either of these <laughs> games. If you want to play a Metroid game that's weird, play Metroid Prime Pinball. Yeah, that's, baby. Now that's mainline. That. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to not put this game on the list, but to re-rank this game. On the, the, list! List! the list. Noah. Yes. You you famously tried to re-rank this game once before, mm -hmm. and it didn't move. Just stayed in the same spot. Now I gotta ask you, looking at the list in its current state. Would you re-rank it? Would you move it? Would you move it up or down? Of course he would. Uh, of co I don't. I just want it out of hell. It doesn't. It really doesn't deserve to be in there with the other group of games. So. So what's your what's your standing? Right obviously, you, not can't go thinking? too high because. Uh, maybe below yeast eighty six. Above God uh, and Mark of Cree. Uh, I was thinking below Mark of Cree. So here's my That's thing. Wrong. That's where <laughs> we go. To land. <laughs> Here we go. I, I think that this game has a lot of similar issues to Sicker Star. I do. Right? Like Sicker Star is is more in the presentation, right? But it has, the it has, it has, it has some of the opposite too. issues. But it has like big glaring things, and I do think that saying that the game. I don't know. Like, I think it's. I think Nintendo Land's better. I think Crash Bandicoot's better. Like, I think that most of the games that are above it are better than it. Is the problem? I think Donkey Konga. I, honest to God, swear on the Bible. I went. I <laughs> loaded up Donkey Konga to get ready for this, and I. I did. I did. I did a song on hard because I never did Donkey Konga on hard. That game is totally fine. There is nothing offensive about that game. It is just. It is. The, the bongos work. They. It's good. Right? The core gameplay of Donkey Kong yeah, is fun, it's not an, it's and not there was never fine, a moment no, where I was fine. screaming at Donkey Kong in anger. <laughs> so in that way, I think that, 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 that the lows of Other M are lower than everything else, while the things that it excels at are good, but I don't think they're so exemplary as to outweigh the negatives when we come to ranking I think on the list. I think it's a lot better than One Finger Death Punch. I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> One figure death punch got old pretty damn fast, and it was repetitive as fuck. I feel like hell should include more games now that I look at it. I feel well, like you guys gotta add more bad games. <laughs> you keep adding fucking games like Final Fantasy and I added Wii Fit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, if we're gonna talk about uh, games that made us scream, I mean, God Hand would be God Hand made us scream. That's not wrong. I don't know. It's but we didn't put it in hell. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would want to put it above Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot a, is, is totally fine. It's good. It's a good. I would say it's in the realm of good, even. Uh, Simpsons Arcade is thing. also a similar thing. I wouldn't mm, put it. It doesn't ever say it's Arcade. welcome. I mean... <laughs> what? Uh, Other I mean, oversay it's welcome in moments. 
I think it's 10 hours was fine. I think it w it didn't... I mean, literally the last 30 minutes, you were, like, hating the whole time. So that, 20 well, that was all story. 20 minutes. Yeah, that was all story. <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, if I could skip it, I would. That is literally over Yeah. That's the thing with, again, like we've mentioned <laughs> before, Other M's gameplay is fun and enjoyable. Like... I'm, maybe I running through a space and shooting guys, stuff, killing things line. is fun. It's actually fun and enjoyable yeah. experience. It, Unlike some not, of these games where got, you actually the experience was rough. I I mean I've already said my piece on why I think the gameplay is not that great. Like I think it's fine, and there's parts where it it shines through, but there's it's also got its issues too. I don't know. I, I mean, we're looking. I mean, we're all uh, looking in the same area, but honestly, I, I think know. it has I the think... same problems as Mark of Cree. Uh, not, well, that makes no sense. But um, like Mark flip Cree's marking, better, yeah. like the uh, yeah. again, the story the marker is, is really good. Is, and... is really arduous, but yeah. the, the story is pretty decent. So it's kind of like a, a mirror of Mark of Creative. Mm. I think Nintendo Land's good, by the way. Nintendo Land's pretty good. I game. I, yeah, I played. Through. Weren't we just talking about how it it barely it barely sold you on the Wii U gamepad? Well, no, I mean, but there's a difference between <laughs> saying does this game sell you on a three hundred dollar console and is this game good, right? Like the Donkey Kong. Crash Course. But if it was good, it would sell you, right? Well, no, but no, but there's yeah, exactly. been like, oh, I had fun with this minigame collection, and oh, this is Wii Sports, this is going to sell 100 million units, right? There's a difference between those two things, right? And so, like... Mm. I don't know, maybe yeah. a semantic difference I, to me. I think that there is... Like, I, I think that the Zelda course is really good in Nintendo Land. I really think that the Donkey Kong one is. I, th I think that, like, three... There's, like, nine, seven of the nine are good. I think. Yeah, the the game and watch one sucks. Yeah, but and I don't. And I don't even remember which other ones. The sucked. Takamaru like one's not great, but besides not. that, like, it was cool. It was like a first person shooter. You throw in the like shuriken, like shooter. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I think that yeah. the way you throw the shurikens kind of sucked, but I like the idea of a real. Yeah, and shooter. so I mean, I don't know. Like, I think that like it was. I mean, it was decent, but it was a mini game collection. It's I. Really... It was a rare. Uh, to its credit. I had as much fun playing the Mario Run and the an Animal Crossing thing on the on Nintendo Land as I did any other multiplayer game. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's one. Mansion Luigi's was super Mansion good. Awesome. Right, like, like you know, it didn't tell any of my friends on Nintendo Land, but like whenever we were loaded up, they were always continually surprised by how good it was, and I think that that's fine. I don't know. I, I think that I would maybe keep, keep it below that at least. And Bandit Crash Bandicoot, I think, is the other one. That's my two sticking, my two sticking points. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, if one finger death punch should be below crash is the problem. It should be. I yeah, looking at it, I agree with that. But well, we didn't put it there, the list. The list. and you didn't re-rank it. <laughs> it's the nature of the beast. Um. So Brandon, yeah, where I you want? Like, I feel like I, I, uh, underneath Nintendo Land. Okay, I mean that's fine. Yeah, I think I'll I mean, settle for that. I think it's yeah. I'm okay with it. Better being above One Finger Death Punch. Okay. Damn, we were we were harder on that game than I remember. I guess <laughs> One Finger Death Punch. But it has. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it, I mean that game really overstated as well. Extremely yeah. wicked bad. Oh my god, the game could have been a fucking hour long. Yeah. Like it, it would have been two is out. Like I wonder six. if we'll ever get to that. Hey, that's Probably what not. the game club it's is for. Here. But is, so is is that where we're gonna settle then? I guess. All yeah. Right. All right. So Metroid Other M. Five minutes away out of mission on. complete. Noah only had to take <laughs> care of two of the people who who did not like the game to to get it up re ranked. It fought and clawed its way out of. Hell. I mean, you can't really argue uh, with brick walls, so. Damn. I mean, th their votes are their Shots votes. Fired. Fired. I get. Do we do we rank this now as a club game? I was gonna put a default yes. slash club. Okay. Okay, we can do whatever. We oh, want. I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna convert it to club, but all right. <laughs> you can convert it. You can. It's been converted. It's been converted. Um, so, but it's moved up to from ninety six. I no, what was it before? I don't even remember. Yeah. But it's at eighty nine now, on the list. Um, That's a lot it. more uh, agreeable than fucking. It did not deserve to be in hell at all. Mm. Maybe we it should move hell. Up. Come Maybe on. hell should be. God hand. 
Oh, well. Hell is going to stay where it is forever yes. now. Hell Hell's move. been set. You can't uh, move Hell. Hell's... Donkey Konga, still the protector of Hell. Will he ever lose lose that job? Who knows? We'll find out when Noah it's, picks it, it, it for the next game. <laughs> It's a fine line. To get a game between Donkey Konga and Hell is a really fine line, and I really challenge somebody to do it. Um, but I don't don't do it for the game club. Just do it when you have the game, please, because I don't want to play a game like that. Anyway, uh, eighty nine Metroid Other M. So surrounding it, we've got eighty seven Mark of Cree, which is also a game club game. So if you want to hear our thoughts about that, I know it sounds low on the list, but it, it was a pretty decent game. Uh, 88 is Nintendo Land. 89, Metroid Other M. Not even going to talk about it because we just listened to it. Uh, in 90, One Finger Death Punch, which is also a friggin' Game mm-hmm. Club game. Uh, so we play the best of the best here. And 91, Crash Bandicoot, the feel first bad. one. Yeah, I feel like Crash Bandicoot, it got better. So if we ever put Crash Bandicoot 2 on the list, oh yeah, it, or 3. You know, it's got to get yeah. a good Two and three was like where it really shined, where it like hit. It's a, it's a good series. It just started off a little mm-hmm. rough. And, and with the remaster, I think it showed a lot of people, oh, this game maybe wasn't as good as we remember. But anyway, um, that was another episode of the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, before we go, though, real quick, we got a couple of, uh, couple of plugs. If you listened and enjoyed the episode, there certainly is ways on the internet to support us or follow along with us if you want more content uh including uh soundcloud where we upload every single week uh the regular episodes of the jump up supercasts where we talk about video game news and then every other thursday there'll be a new game club episode for you um we also you can find us on podcatchers all over the internet uh including itunes so if you listen to us there enjoy it uh rate us five stars please that'd be super awesome and your mom would be proud of you um and you can find us on social media we've got twitter uh instagram and we have a facebook so those will keep you up to date on when we upload episodes as well and you know you can interact with us we post post random stuff uh so follow us there uh, we also have a Twitch, twitch.tv slash jumpupsupercast. And by the way, you can follow us on everything at Jump Up Supercast. It's easy to find. Um, we do play video games on Twitch once in a while, so give us a, a follow on there if you want to see when we're up uh, live, get those notifications sent to you. Um, but before we go, we do have one more thing to address, and that's what we're going to be playing next. Oh, yeah. Um, it's Ooh. my turn. My turn. And I love it when it's my turn. Me, I love it when I it's love... my turn. <laughs> I think we all love it when it's our. I don't own think turn. you guys like it when it's my turn. I wonder why. <laughs> well, we played some good games. I'm filled with heart, with trepidation. <laughs> no, I'm. You know what? Demon's Crest. I love that game. So I would have never played it. Also, Alondra. Come yeah. On, no, give yourself okay. some credit here. Um, good games. Uh, so. It's my turn, and I've been thinking lately... I've been struggling with myself. What the fuck am I going to pick all week? I have a huge list of games. Sometimes it's hard to choose from uh, what I want to play. But once in a while, you play a game, and you have fond memories of it, so you want to go back to it. And you also want other people to play it, too. So this is the case this week. I'm not going to pick a game that I've never played before, because sometimes that ends up bad, like... (laughs) (laughs) Um, Which is in hell, by the way. But uh, I want to play a game, again, that I haven't played for. It's been a long time. And this game is called Second Sight. It's on the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, It was also on PS2 and Mm -hmm. Xbox, I believe. And it's a third-person shooter. It's a lot of fun. Uh, It's got some cool psychic elements to it. I guess I really like psychic things because I picked Psychonauts last time. (laughs) I'm just feeling that vibe right now. So... Yeah, that's. I, I really want to replay it, so we're gonna play Second Sight. Second Sight. Sight. I've never heard of that one. It's. I feel like we've talked like about it. But... You'll enjoy it. I feel like you'll enjoy it. I, I might bring it up sometimes because I do have fond memories of it. But it's been a while, and I want to refresh myself. So that's what we're gonna play. Uh, we will see you guys in two weeks when we talk about that game. And I just want to thank uh, you guys. I want to thank Noah, Ills, and uh, Will for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and everybody who listened. Go out there, play some video games, and be nice.